okay, okay. I'm talking about Fortnite. But who isn't? This game is by far the most popular game right now for a few different reasons. One of which only happened about a week ago. Season 7. Now when I started playing Fortnite, it was day 2 of release of the Battle Royale mode. And I'm not kidding when I say that this is by far the best season since Season 3. Multiple people have touched on this topic of why Season 7 was so successful, but I'm going to be looking at why it downright saved Fortnite and the community with it. Now, as I have said in my Rainbow Six Siege video, which will be linked in the description below, I am not a god tier YouTube rewind cringe fest like Ninja, but I am pretty good at the game and I have put many many hours onto this cartoonish PUBG ripoff. So even though my opinions are shit, they shouldn't be brushed aside. After all, I have a thousand subscribers. By now, people should know that I have played this game quite a bit and I have some strong opinions on the game and how it should be balanced. But before we get into that, I think we should first look on how Fortnite changed the industry. What game do you know of that has support every week, has a microtransaction system where nothing purchased affects gameplay, and is completely transparent to the player, i.e. not a dumb loot box system, is available on every device that you can think of, and listens to the community? <coughs> listens to the community. But in all seriousness, they are actively trying to keep a huge player base happy by providing new things for them to chew on. I think Season 7 is a perfect example, as it really changed the base of Fortnite to the core to make the player base happy. That being said, Fortnite doesn't make good decisions all the time. Okay, now I can't give a fair review of Season 6 as a whole, because I didn't play Season 6 as a whole. I managed to play Season 6 up until the point where this ugly monster was tweeted out by Fortnite. At that point, I could see a spiral of shit incoming and bailed out early. After all, Black Ops 4 came out, but that is a video for another day. But before that, Fortnite were making very questionable decisions on where the game was going. For example, the community have been begging, and are still begging, for a buff in the building mechanic. As it takes upwards of half a game of farming materials off of trees before a player is brave enough to fight. But how did Epic Games respond to this? Damage through builds. Something the community had never asked for and never wanted. Of course, this got fixed about a week later, but it still stands to tell you that Epic Games wanted to do what they wanted, when they wanted, and thought the community would shut up about it. Another instance is when redeploying gliders were a thing, meaning that you could build up to any height, get shot down, and still live. If I had been playing at the time, it would have probably been a nightmare to get teamed on by multiple people. Before I left to play other games, Fortnite would not listen to the majority of the people that were playing the game. The people that were actually good at the game and not just bots that downloaded the game yesterday. Fortnite was pushing a new friendly agenda, which I can understand to some degree, because the game had a widespread appeal. Little kids and people that just wanted to fuck around in a game took up a good portion of the player base. That being said, after the quad launcher's announcement, I was done with hoping for Fortnite to pay attention to the people that were actually good at the game and took time to master the mechanics that were implemented, so I left. And then Season 7 happened. Now, when I had said that Season 7 was by far the best season since Season 3, I wasn't lying. For instance, Season 7 added planes, which could host an entire team that was an absolute menace as you could ram into players if you had the skill and maneuvering to not fully get cockballed. Hit the thing! Hit the thing! No! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Got him! <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> or the godsend pump buff, of which the hike skilled players in the community as a whole ask for. And the big one right now, creative mode, which basically turns Fortnite into Minecraft with brand new mechanics and things to fuck around with. It's great for when I get bored, cause then at least I can build my own house, or a gigantic dick. And yes, it's a bad dick, but I'm on a time crunch and I want to finish this video soon, so fuck you. All these changes in a new battle pass that kicks ass really saved the game in my eyes. It may have had quite a bit of people still playing it, but I don't think it would have had the same amount of players it does today if Season 7 didn't make the changes that were needed to keep this game afloat. Fortnite might be a meme or a bad game to some people, but that's not what this video was about. Season 7 saved Fortnite. I don't care your stance on Fortnite, but I can tell you it probably extended its lifespan by at least 6 months just off this one update. I know that I will be trying to play this game again as I find the new changes to the game fun and exciting enough to keep me happy. This video might become irrelevant in the next few weeks though. Epic Games don't know their boundaries and might fuck up royally again. Who knows. 
But for now, I can say that I am satisfied with Season 7's launch, and I want to look forward to the new things to come. So if Fortnite stays with the same energy and keep with the community, I'm sure that Fortnite will stay alive for months to come, and I'll keep coming back to it. Thank you for watching. Wow, that's two in a row, huh? Like I said last time, these videos take a lot of time to make, and they are actually rewarding to see come out. But I still don't know how well this one's going to come out, or how it's going to do. So, a like, subscribe, and a sharing of this video can really help me out, because, like I said, these videos take so much more time to make compared to the regular funny moments that I usually upload. That being said, I do like making these videos a lot more than the funny ones, because they actually have me a chance to express my opinions rather than just spontaneous funny moments that happen. So, uh, with that being said, I am going to leave it here, so thank you guys for watching, uh, as I am the shittiest content creator alive. Peace. Come on, come on, come on, let's just take the high road. I'm trying to fly though. Wanna touch the sky, but still lie low. Never water down, even with the hydro. Vaporize the hate so I don't have to keep my eyes low. Hit eyes low, get it in in Norway. Cleanse palace with the callous man's doorway. Doorways open up, yup.